You weighed 360 pounds, and how did you lose the weight? Because you lost a lot of weight. I so. did. Well, I got a divorce. That made a big difference. Okay. <laughs> but, um... Did you do it naturally, or did you do it with surgery? No, I did it naturally. <laughs> and I know that I don't teach you, um good eating habits all the time. What is your guilt, Cindy? You seem like you're upset. Because I know that I don't make the right choices all the time. But... I want you to have a better life than what I live. I don't want you to make the wrong choices because mm -hmm. I do. Do you feel like she's settling for less with her boyfriend because she doesn't feel good about yes, herself? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I feel like... I feel like Kylie doesn't realize how wonderful she really is. And I feel, because of that, um, I know in general they say that black men don't, they, black men seem to like heavier women, and um, I think that Quentin, she settles with Quentin because of the fact that he does, except he does, except a lot of times how big she is, um, but I feel that she could do a lot better than him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sarah, how does, it, how does it feel, how does it feel to hear your sister hurting so much? My, me, myself, I have never looked at Kylie as a heavy person first, and then my sister, she's always been my sister. There have been times where I'm in my bedroom getting dressed and she's there and I'll say, oh my God, I look so fat, or, you know, I'm such a cow. But my thing is that I don't care if you're 105 pounds or 500 pounds, you're gonna have weight issues no matter what. You could be, a international supermodel and hate your body. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's myself, my feelings about my body. I understand that she's heavier than I am and that she may be jealous of me, but um, I don't do those things to hurt her or to, you know, make her feel bad about herself. Mm -hmm. I, Does it hurt you, Kylie, when your sister is looking in the mirror when you're in the room and she calls herself fat, fat cow? It just bothers me, and it's not just my sister, it's a lot of people. When you're standing there and, and you're looking in the mirror and you're like, oh God, I'm just so fat, the only thing I can think is, God, if you think you're fat, what the heck do you think about me? Mm -hmm. Joining us in the audience right here is a woman who weighed 300 pounds when she played Jennifer Lopez's sister in the movie, Selena. And she, <laughs> yes. and she lost over 170 pounds is on a mission to help women with their own weight battles. Hello, Jackie Guetta. Hola. Hola. I'm on your side. So beautiful. Um, so what advice do you have for Kylie? Because there's a, a lot of people around her that are not necessarily giving the most healthy messages for her. Absolutely. Even though they all love her, I yeah. think. I mean, it's very clear that everybody, well, almost everybody on the stage really loves you. Yeah. You true. know, Mom, I believe you when you say that you're worried about the quality of her life, but Kylie, you know, this is about you. This is not about somebody pushing you into major surgery, which gastric bypass is, I had it, it worked out for me, I'm very happy with the result, but, you know, it is her decision. This is about you, mamita. This is about you liking yourself, you believing that who you are is good enough, and let me tell you something, you are a bad bitch, okay? <laughs> Honestly, Mr. Quentin, whatever your name is, you really have some nerve coming on here or saying to anybody that they're 
fat white bitch or letting someone else call him a fat uh, white bitch or she's got a two, you know, an inner uh, uh, I tire. Her. I don't care if you said it or you let somebody else say well, I'm it. I'm not going to beat up the world because everybody else called her a fat yes, white bitch. Yes, you are. No, that's no, the mother my, of your child. You are going to stand up for her. No, and you know what? You may job. not be fat, Quentin, but you calling her fat is ugly. That makes you ugly, mister. <laughs> Next. I'm five feet tall, 87 pounds. I know that you have two friends that really bother you a lot about um, being so small. Deep inside, I feel terrible. Look at her, like she's just nothing but skin and bones. And later, I know that you have a very clear idea about Hollywood and how they see weight. In Hollywood, you can do anything. You can be a drug addict, you can sell drugs, you can maybe have killed your own wife, mm -hmm. but God forbid you gain three pounds, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> all the time. When I was like 11 years old, I was really, 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 really skinny. So I know firsthand that it's not just overweight girls who get picked on about their size. And I know Keisha feels the same way. So Keisha, you get, you're getting a hard time from some people in your life. How, yeah. how, how, what, how tall are you? I'm five feet tall. Five feet tall. And how much do you weigh? 87 pounds. 87 pounds. Wow, I've never even heard that number before. <laughs> I really haven't. When I was, um, I was 5'9", and I was 98 pounds. So that's yeah. actually probably kind of weird, too, being so tall. In those, in those pictures there, I was, I was that weight. So what, what, what do your friends say about your size? I mean, they said everything. Like, they came up with so many nicknames, from skeleton to skinny mini to slim jim. And the list just goes on and on and on. And mm -hmm. they even told me that I was so skinny that I looked like the, I had the body of a boy at one point. So. That she had the body of a boy. Yes. Yes. And you're 18 years old, so you're a young lady. Yes. So I can imagine that hurting hearing that. So um, you've, you've tried, you've gone through some far reaching things to gain weight. What, yes. you were taking pills? What were you doing? I did everything. I tried to like overeat, stuff myself. I even took birth control pills at one point because I thought it would make me gain weight, but nothing seemed to work. I just wanted to gain 20 more pounds, but mm -hmm. nothing works at all. And what do your friends say about you being a black girl and being so small? They say, well, they say black girls always got, always got the curves, the boobs, the booty. And they just say, me, I'm just this skinny walking toothpick. Mm -hmm. And it makes me feel bad because I don't want to be this small, but I don't want to be 300 pounds either. I just want to be comfortable with my weight. Can someone relate to, to um, Keisha? Stand on up. What's your name? Noella. Noella, how do you relate? Oh my gosh. All my life, I've been trying to gain weight, girl. Like, I'm on a seafood diet. I see food, I eat it. <laughs> I eat it all the time. I'm trying, I'm trying. Isn't that funny with the, the black girls? I'm sure, like, anybody in the audience that's not black, like, go, what the hell? I don't get it. <laughs> I just don't understand. Stand up. Stand on up. So I can imagine it being weird. Oh, yeah. What's your um, name? Dana. Dana. Um, I eat my two girlfriends here. They are in shock how much I eat. They, I can probably out eat both of them together. Mm -hmm. I'm on birth control. Nothing works. Um, my friends always think like I'm taking pills to lose weight. I'm like, if anything, I'm taking pills to gain weight. Wow. But it's, it's very difficult. And I get picked on more than probably anyone. Well, that's good to hear because I was, when, I was, when I came to you, I thought you were going to say that it was odd that uh, these, these girls want to gain weight because in our society, it's, you know, it's almost saying there's no such thing as too thin. But I do know that in the black community, that is not the case. Like, I'm like kind of one of the smaller people in my family. And even to this day, they're like, give us some more greens. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, I have a lot of booty here. What are you guys doing? Um, so I know that you have two friends that really bother you a lot about um, being so small. Um, tell me what, how it makes them feel when, you say, when they say negative things to you. Well, it makes me feel bad because they're my friends. I love them. And they, we're always going out. But now I don't even go out with them anymore because they just have their own jokes. And they just seem like they're having a good time. And deep inside, I want to have a good time with them also. But the fact that it seems like I, don't, I just don't fit in with them. So mm -hmm. it makes me feel terrible. And I'm like, oh, Do you're so Do they say skinny. things? Yeah, they just say I'm just a walking toothpick or you, like skin and bones, and they call me steak and potatoes. They tell me I just need to eat more, and like you can't hang with us because like you're too small. But it's all funny games. But deep inside, I feel terrible. I feel bad. Okay, 